Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost video on using Pythagoras theorem twice where a right angle triangle is inscribed in another. So we can see we've got a right angle triangle here and that's inside a larger right angle triangle. This triangle here is not right angled but the whole thing is a right angle triangle because it's got a right angle there and this triangle inside it, we could say inscribed inside it, is also a right angle triangle. So we're going to have to use Pythagoras twice probably um, to relate the two triangles. We want to work out the value of x. Now always with this kind of problem, just think what information you know. If we had two sides of a right angle triangle, we know we can use Pythagoras theorem to find the third. Now on this shaded triangle, we do have two of the sides, so we could find this third side. And then once we've got that third side, um, we can do some stuff with that hopefully to find out x. So let's do that first. We've got 10 here. And we've got 11 here, and let's just call this length, well we've already used x, so call it y. Now Pythagoras theorem is 1 the short length squared plus the other short length squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. And I'm just going to do this quickly because we've done Pythagoras many times. We can just subtract the 10 squared, so y squared is 11 squared minus that 10 squared, and because we're going to have y squared, I want to square root both sides, so it's just going to be that. And if you're comfortable going from this to this, then that's absolutely fine. So that's going to be the square root of 21. I'm going to leave y as root 21 because then we can use it exactly on our calculator. So we now know this is root 21. Now, if we knew this full length at the top, we could just subtract the root 21 to then get the x. And we can work out the full length at the top because, look, on the whole triangle, the whole triangle, the whole diagram, we've got to the lengths. So we've got the 10 and we've got the 22. So let's draw that. This is the whole thing. We've got the 10. This is the right angle here. We've got the 22. And we can do Pythagoras theorem again. Um, I'm going to call this whole length here z, just a letter I haven't used yet. And I'm going to get the answer directly. We're trying to find a shorter side. So remember, you can subtract the squares. So 22 squared minus 10 squared. If you're trying to find the hypotenuse, so this longest length, you would add the squares. And then we have to square root it. So that's a quick way of doing it. But you could do the full working. And if I do that on my calculator, square root of 22 squared minus 10 squared is 8 root 6. So now we know this length, which is a full length across the triangle, we know that is 8 root 6. So if you think about it, if the total length is 8 root 6 and this bit of length here is root 21, we know that x is just 8 root 6 minus that root 21. So x is the 8 root 6 minus the root 21. Now it does want the answer to one decimal place. It doesn't want an exact answer with square roots in it. So we will have to do this on our calculator. So that answer, minus root 21, and I need to convert it to a decimal, and that gives me 10.4, and what's the unit? It's in centimetres, so that is the final answer.